Good morning to everybody. My name is Michele Vignali and I work in the University of Milan. And the topic we are going to discuss today is the endometrioma and fertility preservation. We know that endometriosis affects up to 10% of women in reproductive age and uh, in 30 to 50% of these cases, patients with endometriosis face infertility. And this is a condition that can reduce fecundity from 15%, which is uh, found, which we found in the normal population, up to 2% to 5% per month in those women with endometriosis. But why endometriosis is associated to the infertility? There are many factors that can influence this condition. Mm, from the distortion of the anatomy of the pelvis, the coexistence of adenomyosis, the presence of a, uh, an inflammatory environment that can inhibit sperm motility, uh, tubal motility, and can negatively impact on conception and embryo development. Or we know that the um, utopic endometrium can be different in terms of receptors for, en for en estrogen or for progestins. But one of the main problems that it is associated with the infertility in patients with endometriosis is previous ovarian surgery and uh, consequently a reduction of the ovarian reserve. We do know that the most common location of endometriosis is the ovary. And ovarian endometriomas occur in 17 to 44% of these patients. When we talk about endometrioma, we must not say that we are um, speaking about a cyst, a real cyst, but almost a pseudo cyst, because this uh, endometrioma, this cyst, are formed by an exovarian hematoma that is surrounded by duplicated ovarian parenchyma. And this is very important when we do surgery for endometriomas because uh, accidentally, uh, whenever we mm, operate on an endometrioma, we remove accidentally a part of the cortex and so we can um, induce a reduction of the, the follicle numbers and a reduction of the ovarian reserve. In 2008, uh, Cochrane, um, Cochrane Review uh, stated um, that excisional surgery is better than a drainage and ablation when we operated on an, an endometrioma in terms of a more favorable outcome, in terms of recurrence of endometrioma, recurrence of symptoms, and spontaneous pregnancy, so that now we consider excisional surgery the, mm, the gold standard surgical approach. But it is true that since a long time, this is a paper that was published in 2003, we know that excisional surgery for endometrioma can um, reduce significantly the ovarian reserve. In 2006, we published a very interesting paper in which we demonstrated in patients with uh, um, bilateral endometrioma, patients that have been operated on for bilateral endometrioma, 2.4% uh, of premature ovarian failure, which is almost the double that we found in general population. And uh, the same results were demonstrated by another group of Milan in uh, regarding the unilateral endometriomas uh, demonstrating an ovarian damage of 13% of patients. So there is uh, a, a dangerous relation between uh, surgery for ovarian endometrioma and um, ovarian reserve. And this was demonstrated in many papers uh, and finally in 2012 to important um, meta-analysis were published in which the authors um, stated that, that um, ovarian surgery can damage ovarian reserve up to 40% when we uh, consider 
I, I, antimolar and hormone concentration as um, an indicator of ovarian reserve. But anyway, the long-term effect of the surgical treatment uh, uh, on uh, serum AMH remains to be investigated because there are many papers. We, one of these paper uh, is, uh, we, we published one of these papers in 2015, and in which we demonstrated that measuring the uh, antimolar and hormone before surgery at one, uh, three, six, and 12 months after surgery, we found a complete recovery of preoperative IMH values at 12 months postoperatively. And the same results were demonstrated by another group in uh, Cleveland by a group of Tommaso Falcone, in which after six months, they found uh, an, an, uh, um, a difference that was not more, no more uh, significant after six months in terms, always in terms of uh, a measurement of IMH, AMH. Probably there are many factors that contribute to the reduction of the ovarian reserve, there are different characteristic of the, characteristics of the ovarian endometrioma, and maybe the bigger one, larger than seven centimeters, the bilateral ones, uh, and uh, the severe endometriosis can have uh, a, um, a worse, res worse results in terms of um, reduction of the ovarian reserve, but um, maybe small small cysts, uh, unilateral cysts, uh, sometimes can really have a fully recover of AMH. Some authors stated that suture can be protective in terms of reduction, uh, lower reduction of video variant reserve, but some other authors like this Italian group uh, show that, that um, the reduction of uh, AMH or FSH levels are independent from the method used to obtain hemostasis, whether it is suturing or uh, using bipolar. So when we operated on uh, for an endometrioma, what is the best procedure? Uh, it is important always to um, find the correct plane and to respect the hyalus, uh, to rinse a lot, to coagulate the lace, and to be very careful, very patient, because uh, it is true that this is a very easy surgery, but it is important to do it uh, in, in the best way. Uh, some people or some authors proposed another type of um, another procedure uh, which consisted in uh, um, the excision of 90% of the cyst and leaving 1% of the cyst, the, the part near the hilus which is the most uh, uh, vascularized and uh, the, the, the part in which we found the, um, rich, the, 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 number, the highest number of follicles and this uh, little part of the cyst should be coagulated, but we did a multi-center randomized control study in Italy and we demonstrated that the stripping technique should still consider the gold standard approach for the surgical treatment of endometriomas. A very interesting paper that was published last year on the human reproduction update concerning the impact of unilateral versus bilateral viral endometriotic cystectomy on ovarian reserve. Uh, and this was a systematic review and a meta-analysis. Um, this in the authors um, remarked the important damage that uh, we found after uh, surgery for endometrioma and uh, up to 40% uh, in uh, unilateral endometriomas and 60%, almost 60% in bilateral endometriomas. But the important conclusion of these authors, of these authors, that was that uh, conservative treatment should be counseled as the first line of treatment until the patient's reproductive aspirations are realized. So 
that surgery must be postponed until family planning is complete. This is, was a very important message that uh, came from this uh, meta-analysis. And uh, on the other side, uh, what we must think about, what we have to ask to ourselves, uh, okay, if it is not good to operate on endometriomas for the patient, so the patient must choose conservative treatment and wait to be operated on until the family planning is complete. But what we can do, what, what will happen to the ovary if we don't, with the ovary with an endometrioma, if we don't operate on it? Actually, there are several papers that have demonstrated that, that when an ovary have as an, uh, an endometrioma, the, um, the, the ovarian reserve is uh, damaged in a way. Since this paper, 1993, by an Italian group in which uh, the authors um, thought that destruction of the cyst could impair the ovarian reserve, but there are many papers that have shown that all the follicles of the tissue around the endometrioma has a, a, um, an higher percentage of fibrosis and a, a reduction in the number of follicles. And last, this uh, nice paper published in 2003 from uh, the group uh, in another group in Milan showed that the, the content of the cyst with the reactive oxygen species and iron can damage the tissue around and uh, the, around the cyst and uh, um, creating a fibrosis and re, uh, determining a reduction in the number of follicles. So it is, it appears that the endometrioma per se may damage the ovarian reserve and this could progress along with development and growth of the endometrioma. So it is true that we, if we operate it on, we, the, uh, we can have a production in the uh, of our reserve, but it, it, it is even true if that if we leave the ovary with an endometrioma, this could lead to a reduction of the ovarian reserve. And uh, as uh, in this paper, Professor Somigliana and his group showed that the ovary that has an endometrioma when compared to the other ovary has a lower rate of ovulation. And this obviously, can lead to a reduction in the fecundity. Last, another important paper was published last year, two years ago, but no, at the end, one, at the end of 2018, in, from a Turkish group in which they measured the AMH in patients with endometrioma and in patients without endometrioma in, for in six months. And what they showed it was that women with endometrioma experienced a progressive decline in serum AMH levels faster than in the healthy woman. And this reduction, as you can see, was very high because it was around 26.4% compared to 7.4% of the control group. So if we have to um, choose uh, to underline one of the main uh, concepts that I think that it's very important is that the first preservation in case of ovarian endometrioma is to avoid useless surgical problem procedures. So first of all, non notere. But what the uh, guidelines say, what the association, the main association, uh, tell us to do if we cannot operate on the ovaries on a with endometrioma not to reduce the ovarian reserve but otherwise if we have an ovar an ovary with endometrioma we will uh, observe a reduction in the um, in the reserve so what we have to do uh, the ASHRA guidelines that have been published in the first um, trimester of 2014 um, tell us that um, in patients, uh, infertile 
patient with endometrioma, first of all, we have to choose excision of endometrioma and not uh, drainage and, uh, and coagulations. But if we want to, uh, if we operate it on these patients, we will see an increase in spontaneous pregnancy rate. So if we are not going to submit our patients to ART, to ART, uh, but in patients with endometriosis, severe endometriosis with endometrioma, it's infertile, we can operate on them um, if the patients are symptomatic to increase spontaneous pregnancy, spontaneous pregnancy rates. Otherwise, if we have patients that are undergoing um, our ART procedure, uh, it, there is evidence aid type A that patient with endometrioma larger than three centimeters uh, will not gain any advantages uh, to be operated on before ART. Um, the only advantages, and this is a good practice point, that this patient can gain is to improve uh, endometriosis associated pain and uh, a better accessibility to the follicles. Another question that Ashre uh, um, answered to is, medical assisted reproduction effective for infertility associated with endometriosis. The recommendation is to use ART in this infertile patient with endometriosis and because um, no uh, recurrence rates, not a worsening of the recurrence rate have been observed in those patients that are um, that uh, undergo ART and ovarian stimulation. But and a very interesting meta-analysis was published led the year after the um, publication of ASHRAE guidelines. This is a very interesting um, meta-analysis that was published on the human reproduction update. And the title was The Impact of Endometrioma on IOF ICSI outcomes, a systematic review and meta-analysis. What the authors said, and the mm, same, same concept were expressed in another meta-analysis that was published the same year, is that uh, when we compare women with endometriosis, endometrioma and women without endometrioma, we observe a similar life birth rate, a similar cumulative pregnancy rate, and a similar miscarriage rate even if in patients with endometrioma, we can observe lower um, in number of our sites retrieved, uh, higher FSH dosage for ovarian stimulation and an AFC reduced. Maybe because we have, for the thing that I showed you before, even in patients with endometrioma, the ovarian reserve reduce and tend to reduce with time. The patient with endometrioma are more at risk of uh, redu uh, cycle consolation. So they need to be counseled about this. And another concept that had have already been expressed is that surgery seems not to influence the life birth rate in this patient. But we know we have to. I showed you how uh, surgery can be detrimental for the ovarian reserve. And four years later, this meta-analysis was published, uh, remarking the concepts that I already show you that uh, women with endometriosis-related infertility have similar cycle outcomes to other patients going through ART. And pre-cycle surgical management of endometrioma does not appear to be beneficial except for the reduction of symptoms. There are no uh, strict guidelines in terms uh, of, uh, of which patient with endometri of uh, which patient of endometri with endometrioma should be 
operated on, but surely patients that are um, resistant to medical therapy and are very symptomatic should be operated on anyway. Endometriomas should not be resected to improve ART outcome. This it is a, a concept that we have already seen. But so what we can do? What we can do when we have an endometrioma and we don't want our patient to have a reduction in, uh, in terms of ovarian reserve. Uh, in, this, in this recent years, we have published uh, many papers and there is a lot of literature about that, but we published, uh, especially in Italy, um, several articles about the effect of um, diangest in, uh, uh, on the endometrioma. We have seen that uh, medical therapy with the diangest two milligrams every day can reduce the volume of the cyst up to uh, 70, 79, 80%. And this is very important because a patient in the, with a, a larger cyst, a large cyst can uh, have can uh, reach a little cyst. And as I showed you before, if you remember, larger cysts are those that um, are at more risk of not recovering um, the ovarian reserve after surgery. And it is sure that if we reach a reasonable diameter of the cyst, the patient, and obviously with Dynagest, even the symptoms will be improved in this patient, it is obvious that this patient won't go, uh, won't, won't need a, a surgery. And this is very important because surgery is uh, I, uh, the, the major enemy that we have in, uh, for fertility preservation. And in another paper that we published last year with uh, the group of uh, Rome, Professor Muzzi is uh, uh, with always with the therapy, um, the medical therapy. What we saw is that these patients with endometrioma that undergo a medical therapy of two milligrams a day uh, with a dynagest will not only uh, reach a reduction in the volume up to 79% and a reduction in the pain symptoms, but even the AFC, the antrophollicle count, will be uh, increased. So even the ovarian reserve will be preserved. So our conclusion uh, is, uh, my conclusion is, that is true that patients with endometriosis will face infertility in 30 50 percent of cases and they will show a reduction in the fecundity rate up to two to five percent and there are many factors that can contribute to this reduction but obviously this uh, condition but obviously one of the most important factors that can affect ovarian reserve, that can affect fertility in those patients is surgery. Because uh, cystectomy can reduce ovarian reserve, even if it is questionable if this condition can uh, persist in long-term follow-up. But we have many data that show that uh, especially for bilateral endometrioma surgery can be detrimental for the ovarian reserve. So as the meta-analysis published in 2014 said, 19 said, um, the conservative management should be adopted until family planning is complete because uh, this should be our choice. On the other hand, endometrioma per se could impair ovarian reserve because we have seen for this the stretching of the capsule, the content of the cyst can create, determine a fibrosis around the cyst. And so on the other side, we will have the problem of what to do. We have seen what the ASHRAE guidelines can suggest, but 
uh, now um, actually what we can use uh, the, the best thing that we have the best remedy that we have found is um, a therapy with dinergies two milligrams a day that can reduce the size of the endometrioma but on the other side can reduce the reduction of the uh, ovarian reserve and what we have seen is that we observed an increase in the antrophollicle count while decreasing painful scent. Finally, uh, it is true that uh, when we want to uh, um, send this patient to IRT, ART, uh, women with endometriosis related infertility have similar cycle outcomes. It is true that they have lower number of our sites retreats, but at the end, this, the, the results are exactly uh, seem comparable to other patients going through ART. So uh, it, we, don't, we don't need to be scared about sending these patients to ART instead of operating them for endometrioma. Endometrioma should not be resected to improve ART outcomes because we know we have seen I've shown you the uh, detrimental effect of surgery on ovarian reserve response. And at the end, uh, this does not mean that we will not operate it on endometrioma anymore because patients with endometriomas and painful symptoms that are resistant to surgery, to medical therapy, obviously will benefit of, from uh, uh, surgery anyway. So I thank you very much. I am sorry not to be uh, there in presence, but uh, this is was the best that I could do. A, a warm greeting to everybody. Thanks, Doctor. Thanks, Professor Tignelli, for nice presentation and nice videos. Uh, lecture, I would like to say that lecture of Professor Vignelli will be posted uh, in the every uh, uh, endometriosis special interest group and every YouTube channel. So if you have any questions for Professor Vignelli, uh, he will answer you in comments.